In another development, delaying closure in the Senzo Mayua murder trial, the trial will have to start afresh as Judge Rata Mohwatling takes over the reins from Judge Chifiwa Maumela. Judge Chifiwa was suspended for failing to deliver several judgments within the allocated time frame. The trial kicked off in April last year. Let's understand what this means with Mbekazeli Benjamin, the Research and Advocacy Officer at Judges Matter. Mbekazeli, good evening to you and welcome. As we've seen, the trial's been beset by lengthy postponements since it began last year. And now it's got to restart. What does it mean for all the work done over the last year? Uh, good evening, Iman, and good evening to the viewers. Um, well, yes, the delays in the trial and, and the trial now having to restart is really, really unfortunate. Um, in fact, it is quite extraordinary to have the trial restart midstream. Um, but what it means is that the trial now has to start from scratch. So all the witnesses who've testified in the trial have to come back and, and give testimony again. All the evidence that has been presented to court does have to be uh, presented once again. There is a mechanism in the Criminal Procedure Act to try and expedite that kind of situation. And, and what Section 215 and 214 of the Criminal Procedure Act says is that some of that evidence may be uh, reintroduced into uh, the, the new trial without uh, too much of a hassle. But that would only be in very limited circumstances. But for the, for the rest of the evidence, they would really have to start from the uh, starting point, from uh, point A. And Becca Zeli, a layperson like myself and many others, would kind of think to themselves, well, if it's going to start again, everyone knows each other's story now. You know, um, the narration of the events, the way the cross-examination might have worked, um, you know, the way certain witnesses' evidence or testimony could have been showed up or, or, or challenged. Um, d does it carry the same integrity as it did the first time round? Yes, uh, it should carry the same integrity because um, a trial is, is not a game. It's not like a, a gotcha kind of situation. Usually you'd have one version and you'll have to present that one version. You can't change it midstream. And there are mechanisms that are built in to protect people from, from changing their versions. One of them is that um, the statements that were made previously. So the statements that were made um, in the previous trial must really be consistent even in the new trial. Mm. And in fact, the defense lawyers will be looking out for those kinds of inconsistencies because those will be the holes that they'll be trying to poke um, in the evidence. And so it is important for both the prosecutor and the defense to be alert to ensure that the evidence is really consistent um, with the evidence that has already been presented. I did mention that um, Section 214 and 215 of the Criminal Procedure Act do allow some of that evidence to, to really be received as is uh, unchanged from the, the previous trial. So in a way, there are mechanisms that are built in to try and avoid people changing their stories or coming up with new versions of events. Trials are costly business, business hey, in Bekazeli. What does it mean for those who have retained paid counsel? Um, presumably, this is, you know, they, they, they would have to count that as money lost. Yes, unfortunately, that is one of the prejudices in, in this process restarting is that the, the defense lawyers would have to, or well, the clients and the accused have to pay more money to, to get the trial to run again. But this has to be weighed up against the further delay that would have happened if they had uh, decided to wait until Judge Maumela gets better. And, and here, uh, Imana must explain that the suspension has nothing to do with the restarting of the trial. Um, in fact, the suspension is on a completely unrelated issue. The only reason why, as I understand it, the only reason why this trial is restarting is because Judge Maumela is unwell, unfortunately, and, and there's, it's, it's indefinite. There's no uh, date on when he might come back. And so the, it had to be weighed up against waiting for the judge to get better 
or to get the child getting uh, um, uh, going ahead as quickly as possible, which is why they bring in a retired judge to deal mm -hmm. with, 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 the, with the case. And, and he will be solely focused on this trial. Well, let's talk about the focus now that Judge uh, Rata Mohwatling is going to have to bring. It's been many years uh, since the incident itself, uh, many years since it actually got to trial. And now we are at the beginning point again. What do we know about uh, Judge Mohwatling? So Judge Mukhotlang is actually quite a, an experienced judge. Um, he's a retired judge. He was a, a judge for about 13 years in the Johannesburg High Court before he took retirement in 2020. Um, he does have experience with dealing with um, high profile cases. Um, he, you'll remember that he dealt with the Richard Nruli case. Um, he dealt with uh, the initial stage of the uh, Terofatopule uh, made a trial. And so he does have the experience and the gravitas to be able to bring in all of the parties to make sure that the trial runs on time. But I think there's also, we've, we've seen in the Senzo Meiwa trial that there's been a lot of disruption that has been caused by the media representatives. And so Judge Mukhwakling has experience in, in dealing with, with the media as well. And so those factors, I think, me, are quite positive for the trial going forward because the judge will be able to, to move the case as quickly yeah. as possible.